Well, hello there. How are we doing today? Hope y'all are having a blessed day today. Well, this has been a good day for me today so far. Even if it is a little on the cloudy side and you can feel the fog setting in, getting a little damp out here. Today we are at uh, Homes Direct in Albany, Oregon. Going to take a look at this home. It is a three bedroom, two bath home called the Merrillville. This is a very nice home made by Palm Harbor Homes. This is about a 1,500 square foot home. So I hope you guys are, like I said, enjoying your day. With that, we're going to go ahead and head on in. When we first walk in, you've got this little bit of a foyer entranceway area. Good place to maybe set down a small bench over there, take your shoes off, possibly put yourself a little bit of a shoe rack right here. Your master bedroom is off to the side there. We'll come back and get that. So the nice thing is when you walk in, you're not looking directly into your kitchen. You do have to take a little bit of a right hand turn to come into your living room. And you've got a really nice set of windows. These are the nine foot ceilings. And as you can see, you've got a very nice size living room. So as I said, this is a three bedroom, two bath, 1500 square foot home. A little bit of a unique layout to it. You do have a nice large dining room area. You do have sliding glass doors over there. In fact, I have a home different model. It's a very similar kitchen and dining room layout even has that sliding glass door over there with the laundry room over there. I'll put a link to it up there in the, in the description or down in the description and up in the corner there, it happens to have a window where that we're hanging out. Of. Your dining room area here, now you do have an option for a light to hang down. Plenty of room here for a little bit larger table. You could easily get a four man table there. Utility room slash laundry room while we're here. You got your washer and dryer hookups, full size. Nice big window there. I don't believe the other one had a window right there. That is going to be your water heater access. Like I said, the other one had a window right there and it was classified as an art center. But this one has nice cabinets, nice shelf. Got a great size folding table with some more cabinets down below. Really nice size utility room. Now there is not a ton of cabinets in here. In fact, the people that were walking through the home 
just finishing up taking pictures even commented that uh, there wasn't quite enough cabinet space for them until they saw the pantry over there. So you do get the black Whirlpool appliances. And you do have some tall cabinets though. So it does help give you more cabinet space. And they went with the similar to, I guess you'd call it subway tile backsplash here. And then you've got more cabinet space down below here. Now I know in the other version that I did, there was a dishwasher right there, so I know that is an option. And you've got some really big cabinets over here. Nice deep cabinets. And the pantry. Decent sized pantry for for the size of the home and for its location. And if you do need a little more storage, you've got what you could use as either a linen closet or cabinet, or you could store more food in here if you needed to, or pots and pans or whatever else. Obviously a little bit out of the way from the kitchen, but you could definitely make it work if that's what you had to do. But your bathroom is a very good sized bathroom. You've got the one piece shower tub combo. And I have noticed that it's just, it's a kind of a standard now in all these Palm Harbor homes this tile that goes around the outside of your tub or your shower tub combo now and it uh, was explained to me it does help with the water tightness and keeping everything nice and dry hello Raiden so you do have a nice counter space here in your bathroom so this one is not your standard narrow guest bathroom, you got plenty of space in here. Furnace and then coming into the very back bedroom. Now this is the smaller of the two kids' rooms. And we've got a very nice sized closet in here though. Plenty of room in the closet. In fact, just to make more room in here, if this was my kid's room, his toy box would go right there and it would take that whole space up. And you know, his toy box is about four foot long and about two foot deep and about two foot tall. And he's got it packed full of toys. That kid has got more toys, and I keep trying to thin them out from old ones, and of course, you know how kids are. You break out the old toys that they've had buried forever, and all of a sudden, they don't want to get rid of them. They want to keep them and hang on to them and start playing with them again. Feels like it's much bigger than the other one. Very nice size room. And you've got a, another big closet in here. There we go. So this one's got uh, about the same size, just turned differently. But once again, a nice size closet. Let's go check out your master bedroom down here. A 
So as I said, the master bedroom is kind of right by the door. At least it's not directly off the living room. It is a plus. But we do have a good sized closet in here. But you also have these storage shelves or shoe racks, whatever else you'd want to put in there behind your door. We've got a nice counter in here. We continue that same glass uh, subway tile, so to say. Lots of counter or cabinet space down below. Really nice fixtures up above there. Toilet area over here. And then you've got this great big soaker tub, freestanding. And it is a fairly deep tub. A couple of windows up above there. And this big wall of cabinets in your bathroom. Now there is no tile shower in this home specifically. That's not to say that you cannot get a tile shower. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to option one in, especially considering its location. built-in bench. Now this is just a one-piece fiberglass. Well, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to uh, go down there into the comment section. Let me know what you liked about the video. While you're down there, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. Currently uploading every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.